In today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up a video production studio. From evaluating your space and layout to dealing with power, sound considerations, and maintaining organization. This is just one of the seven videos from our advanced lighting course, but there's so much more to learn. As a Video Maker Plus member, you'll get access to over 45 courses on every aspect of video production, like our course on the basics of visual storytelling. It, like this one, will help you take your videos to the next level. And right now, you can get free unlimited access. Just click on this card and sign up now. Don't miss this chance to take your videos to the next level. There's a lot to unpack here. So let's jump right in. First things first, when setting up your studio, you need to consider your studio's size. The size of your space will affect how you light, record sound, and frame your shots. It's important to have enough room for easy movement and setting up your equipment. The size of the location will allow you to light a scene while not negatively affecting another area of it. That is where you need to pay attention to the space you need for proper light to fall off. The fall off is when the light intensity decreases as it travels further from the source. Not considering it when placing your lights can create uneven lighting on your subject or background. Next, consider how the acoustic space behaves in your environment. A small acoustic space means that sound waves will bounce off the walls and create reverb. A large acoustic space means sound waves will travel further and lose its volume. To avoid reverb, you want to have some sound absorption materials, like acoustic foam panels. Parallel walls, ceiling, and floor are the biggest contributors to room echo, so be sure to cover them. Breaking up parallel surfaces is a great place to start. Additionally, avoid losing volume or clarity by placing the microphone close enough to your source, but not too close that it will cause distortion or appear in the frame. You also need to think about your studio's layout. The layout will determine how you should arrange your setup. Ultimately, you want to have a layout that balances aesthetics and functionality. There are also some practical aspects that you need to pay attention to when designing your layout. For example, are there any directions that you can't shoot toward? It can be an issue if there's a window behind you that creates unwanted backlighting or creates glare. Are there any doors or windows that will let in unwanted noise or light from the outside? For instance, if there's a busy street or a noisy neighbor, that will interfere with your sound quality consistently. Where will your background be? Will it be a plain wall, a backdrop, a bookshelf, or something else? You want to have a background that's relevant to your content, but not so cluttered it's distracting. You also want to have some separation between your subject and your background, either by using a shallow depth of field or by placing some distance between them. Also, think about how you'll position your camera. Will it be on a tripod, a gimbal, a slider, or something else? You want enough space to operate any support wherever you need it. The third thing you need to consider when setting up a studio is power management. Power management is how you supply electricity to your equipment. You want to have enough power outlets and cables to connect all your devices without overloading your circuit breaker or creating a fire hazard. But power management isn't just about plugging in your equipment, it's also how you control it. For this, you need tools and devices to help you create the best possible lighting for your video. Let's go over the equipment you'd most likely come across in a professional studio. A power outlet. This is where you plug in your equipment into a wall socket. Most rooms have at least a few, but you wanna make sure you have enough outlets for all of your devices. However, beware not to overload your circuit breaker. A DMX lighting controller allows you to control and adjust your lighting levels and colors using a digital protocol called DMX or digital multiplex. The DMX controlled lights and controller talk to each other using five pin DMX cables. These are the cables that connect your equipment to the power outlet or the DMX controller. You wanna have enough cables for all of your devices. You also want to have cables that are long enough to reach your desired location, but not too long that they will create excess slack or loops. Lastly, you should consider your studio organization. Studio organization is how you arrange and store your equipment and materials. You always want to keep a tidy studio space. It not only makes it easier to find your equipment, but also makes it much easier to navigate the space. Studio organization is more than just putting things away. You have to create a workflow that will streamline your setup process. You can do this by labeling where you keep materials, keeping inventory of what you have, and maintaining good cable management. Good cable management is the key to a clutter-free work area. Using cable ties will help you organize and secure your cables. They're great because they're easy to apply and remove still strong enough to hold your cables in place. Ensure that all overhead lights are secured with safety cables. Use metal wires or chains to stabilize your lighting equipment and prevent any accidents. This protects your equipment from damage and keeps your studio safe for everyone. The most flexible tool is gaffer's tape. 
Gaffer's tape is a strong adhesive tape that you can use to attach or mark your cables, equipment, or materials. Use Gaffer's tape to prevent tripping hazards or confusion when moving around your studio. You've just watched one of the seven videos from our advanced lighting course, but there's so much more to learn. As a Video Maker Plus member, you'll get access to over 45 courses on every aspect of video production, like our course on the basics of visual storytelling. It, like this one, will help you take your videos to the next level. And right now, you can get free unlimited access. Just click on this card and sign up now. Don't miss this chance to take your videos to the next level.